volunteers spent time at the Valence Cemetery this morning. Graves were washed and cleaned, grass mowed, and weeds were removed from the headstones. Save Our Cemetery sponsored this cleanup, and volunteers who came out said the timing was perfect to give people the cleaner space to honor the loved ones they've lost. Save Our Cemeteries is a nonprofit that works to preserve and restore the city's historic cemeteries. Okay, you guys ready to get wet again? We have finally some rain. And I have a few hours to kill, or a couple of hours to kill. I um, didn't plan this. And I haven't been to this cemetery in quite a while. I've only been here once before. And this is Valence Cemetery. So I don't have a selfie stick. I am not prepared at all. I honestly don't know a whole lot about this cemetery. So I'm going to do some research after I film this. You can see that the cemetery is not very well maintained. And I don't know the reasons for that either. If I had to guess why that is, these um, may be poor citizens of the state of the New Orleans. some veterans buried here. It is actually maintained a little better than the last time I was here. It was very overgrown, like you could not walk through this. <clears throat> and I will say also, um, that the cemetery does attract homeless, and they do sleep in the cemetery, so just a word of caution. You may walk up on somebody that's actually trying to get some rest and they will start with you. That does happen. It's not that uncommon in New Orleans. Mitch. This is a World War One vet. Louisiana private. I don't know what MC means.
There's a society tomb. Um, society of MBS Antonio de Padva. I think that says March 6th. I can't tell if that says 1835 or 1885. I'm guessing 85. I don't think this part of the city was inhabited in 1835. What do I know? I don't know. I mean, it's another society too. See what that is on the other side. There's a lot of broken grave markers in this cemetery. Um, that was something that I noticed last time too. I don't know if it's heavily vandalized. This hasn't always been. A safe, I guess, part of the city. I don't know. Um, not that that should determine the state of a cemetery. It's just, you know, it was a neglected area of the town of New Orleans and, um, you know, it tends to result in vandalism, I guess. Odd fellow's rest of Helvetia Lodge. That's interesting. Alright, so as I mentioned in another video, there is an Odd Fellows Rest Cemetery. So why why would this tomb be here? I don't know the answer to that. One of my goals is going to be to get into that cemetery, Oddfellows Rest, at some point. I have been in twice before. It is never open. It is not open to the public. Um, and here recently, the access that you could get has been restricted. So, I don't know how I'll make that happen. You can't really sneak in. The walls are... 15, 20 feet high, uh, but if I can get in, I'll get in. It's not about becoming an odd fellows. Uh, but I don't think I have what they want. And these walkways are about to collapse. video suddenly ends or continues to record and there's no talking, it's because I just fell into the New Orleans underground. I also don't know if this is still an active cemetery. Imagine if you have a family plot here, you could be buried here. But I don't think they're doing new burials. It doesn't seem like it, given how overgrown everything is.
actually quite a bit of veterans in this cemetery. World War II. World War One. Sorry, I don't know why I'm shaking. I don't know. Wow. That is completely fell apart because of the plants. There's only, um, if this faceplate is right, there's only two people in there. 1917 and 1912. Wow. Hmm. I mean, I guess that means maybe they were the only ones in their family that were here. So, in 1897 to 1908, <clears throat> New Ladies Providence Benevolent Mutual Aid Association. Anyone have any ideas what that is? I don't. Established enough to have a society to them. This one's very ornate. See right here. Um, it's, it's not uncommon to see things missing from tombs. I think it's, my mom was positive it's a crime now in the city. There was a time when cemeteries were looted for their statuary and some ironworks, ornateness of the tombs and resold in thrift stores, secondhand markets, probably online. And uh, especially after Katrina, it was, you'd go on eBay and you would see a ton of statues from cemeteries in New Orleans. And then you have a cemetery like this that's kind of out of the way. And uh, no one's really keeping an eye on it. It's like rife for vandalism and theft. I'm just sad. Last time I was here, as I recall, 
There are several open tombs, which it looks like they have fixed those. <clears throat> Thankfully. Because in addition to statuary and ironwork, there's some people that think having someone else's bones is a nice uh, memento or trophy of their visit. And I think voodoo gets blamed a lot for that. And I think that's unfair because I don't think that's a fair assessment of the voodoo culture. I would guess more likely it's tourists or just uh, vandals with a um, sense of morbidity. Alright, I'm shaking again. I don't know why. It's really strange. I think we're almost done. Oh, this one looks like it just exploded. folks i think that's it for me you all have a lovely day and i will talk to you in the next video have a great day bye